What's going on combat sports fans? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel and you have a passion for combat sports, make sure to take a moment and punch that subscribe button into submission here at Joe's Madness. And if you like this prediction and preview here, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp like you mean it. And make sure to let us know down below in the comment section your thoughts and opinions, positive or negative. Feedback is welcome as always. And we've got UFC 212 predictions and preview for Claudia Gadalia versus Carolina Kowalkovich. And this one is going to be a really fun strawweight fight at UFC 212 on June 3rd down in Brazil. I cannot wait. I'm super excited for this one. I'm a fan of both of these women, but I'll tell you right now before I reveal my prediction here in a moment, I am a lot bigger of a fan of Gadelia's than I am of Carolina's. Um, you know, I've been following her since she debuted in the UFC and I've really liked her a lot. Uh, you know, I think she's gorgeous. I also think that Carolina is beautiful, but you know, I really like Claudelia Gadelia. She's just wicked badass and awesome. And, you know, I'll end up revealing some things that I think will help uh, both women. I don't know if either women are going to listen to this video or not, but it would be awesome if they did. And then let me know their thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, you know, if they agree with anything and everything I said. So anyways, we've got Gadelia coming in at 13-2, and two, and we have Carolina coming in at 10-1. and one. Uh Gadalia is ranked number one uh, on the UFC ranking, and Carolina is ranked number two. You know, so it's uh, something to think about. But um, they are two of the elite fighters in the strawweight division. Now, both of them have lost to the champion, Joanna Champion. Now, if they either one of them get if Gadalia gets a third crack at her, I think she would defeat her that time. And if Carolina gets a second crack at her, I think she could end up defeating her. Now, anyways, let's get to the prediction and then on to some review information and uh, preview information. I mean, and why I think uh, what would be a good strategy for Gadalia and Carolina. So I'm going to be going with Gadalia to win this one by submission in the third round. That's right. I believe she'll be able to get Carolina down to the ground and end up submitting her. As uh, you know, if you look at her record and you look at her past, she's she had a awesome submission game. She was able to take people down, get armbar victories, and so forth. And I believe if she gets back to her roots and she go and is able to um, get her opponent down to the ground, that she'll end up being able to pick up a submission victory. I know Carolina has submission wins as well back in her early days and fighting as well. Uh, we'll be getting into some of that soon. I believe a good strategy for Gadelia to take down Carolina uh, would be to be do like what Jose Aldo did to Frankie Edgar when they fought at UFC 200 uh, and go after the leg, kick the legs. You know, it's like the Karate Kid, sweep the leg, Johnny. You know, you got to kick the leg and work the legs. And if you take somebody's legs out with kicks and so forth, um, you know, and takedowns and up against the cage with knees and stomps on the feet and so forth, then you're taking away their base, so that you're taking away their trunks, you know, you take away the legs of somebody, it's going to be hard for them to defend a takedown, it's going to be hard for them to throw the knockout punch, it's going to be hard for them to take you down themselves, it might force them to try to take you down, it might force them to step out of their uh, game plan and what they wanted to initially do, if you kick the leg too much and you hurt their thighs or their calves or you crack them in the knee and it buckles their knee or hurts them, you know, like I'm not saying like, oh, they would like break her leg or anything, but I'm saying if Gedalia you know, works on taking, um, lay, you know, working on the legs of Carolina with kicks and so forth, then she can work into getting a uh, takedown properly to keep her down and then work on getting into that submission attempt and getting that submission victory in the third round. So, um, for Gedalia, she's got six wins by submission, two wins by KOTKO, six wins by decision. So if you, I feel like kind of this, it's, you know, she's got two losses by decision. She's never been stopped. And the same goes for uh, Carolina. She's never been stopped in her, as a pro. She was stopped as an amateur. But, um, you know, she's got one win by KOTKO, two by submission, and seven wins by decision. So it seems like she, you know, she's got eight fights that have gone the distance and... She's only had three wins by finish. Now, Gedalia, she's, you know, 
got eight wins by stoppage and then six wins by decision and two losses so it's 50 50 for her eight and eight you know so uh, eight decision she's had eight fights go the distance and then she's had eight fights finishes that she's won so for her you know, I feel like she needs to kind of, like, I feel like that's something that happens with some fighters that they fall in love with their punching power and the striking and they want to get that beautiful knockout or an awesome TKO stoppage, you know, but I love a submission. You know, I, I love submissions. To be honest. I mean, I, I absolutely love knockouts, but some, there's something different about a submission victory than a knockout, you know. Um, I mean, it is what it is. You look at Gedalia, she, for her uh, pro debut, she won by an armbar. Then to her next fight, she won by an armbar. Her third fight went the distance. Then her next uh, four fights, she won by submission. Three armbars and a rear naked choke. So uh, early on in her career, she was submitting people left and right. I know it's a different level of competition uh, that she had with those fights as then in the UFC, but I feel that you know you work a game plan you take away somebody's legs or you know hit them in the body and so forth you know you work over the whole body with strikes to the leg to the body to the arms the shoulders the head you know and whatnot and then you get the person down to the ground and you can submit them but she's gonna win uh, in 2012 and 2013 wins by TKO and she hasn't knocked anyone out or got a TKO victory since 2013 since she was at Invicta FC6 her UFC debut, she won by unanimous decision. Then she went against uh, Joanna, which was, she was not the champion. Then she lost her by split decision, but I felt Gadalia won that fight. And then she went against Jessica Aguilara uh, in uh, UFC 190, beated her by unanimous decision, gets a shot at the champion, and then loses uh, to Joanna Champion at the Ultimate Fighter 23 finale by unanimous decision. She bounces back at UFC Fight Night 100 and wins by unanimous decision over Courtney Casey, who is a really tough woman, uh, you know. So I believe the key for Gadelia is to get the leg kicks going, work the body and punches and whatnot, and don't just straight up focus on leg kicks, but make sure to get leg kicks in to take away the base and the trunk of Carolina and then be able to take her down and submit her. For Carolina, um, you know, I believe it's going to be kind of similar that she's going to want to more so work the uh, body. And uh, for her, I, I, I she, she's going to want to try to win on points. And, uh, you know, I don't see her knocking out or submitting Gedalia at all in any way. The only way I feel like Carolina could win this one is by decision. And I don't know how she'll how she could win two rounds over Gadelia with how amazing Gadelia is as a fighter. I know she's got a win over Rose. She defeated Heather Clark. She defeated Randa Marcos. Those are all the decision wins. The Rose one could have gone either way, you know, because it was a split decision. But before that, she hasn't had a finish since 2014 via armbar and then she had a submission rear naked choke in 2013 and her pro debut in 2012 she won by TKO and you know so I don't know she just hasn't shown us that she in the UFC that she's a finisher and neither has Gadelia but I believe that we're going to see one of these two women get stopped I mean it's most likely going to go decision but I really would love to see Gadelia get a submission victory over at Carolina now let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp like you mean it share the video with your family and friends uh, and let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts and opinions and make sure if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet punch that subscribe button into submission to join Joe's Madness here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Combat Sports is awesome and you guys are amazing.